Hi friends, welcome to Ova Studies YouTube channel. Uh, this is next video in the PowerShell uh, playlist which we are discussing about. And in this video, I wanted to focus on like, let's try to start programming in PowerShell. Uh, let's try to make our own first PowerShell code or a program. So that is the main intention of this particular video. And uh, in this video, right, we are going to start with a traditional approach of creating a hello world program, right? Whenever you are whenever you are starting learning any new programming skill, the first time you try hello world program, right? The same thing. I wanted to write a PowerShell code that should print hello world. So that's what my primary intention. And if you see here, you see this screenshot new item command and I gave a PowerShell file name there, right? So what it will does, it will actually create a PowerShell file. All PowerShell programming files will have .ps1 extension actually. Okay, and then I am opening the same PowerShell file using the Visual Studio code. When you use this code command, it will open in a Visual Studio code. And then I am going to write the code that will print the hello world. And I am going to run that PowerShell file as well. So let me practically show you this. So first thing is click this Windows menu, Windows button in your keyboard and search for PowerShell. If you have watched my previous playlist of this PowerShell playlist, uh, you already know that right like what is powershell isc and how to write a code here everything you already know it okay so i hope you guys know that so now what i am going to know so if you haven't watched my previous videos so please watch that to understand what is this powershell isc so now here what i wanted to do is uh, I, I wanted to create a new hyphen item and we will call these like whatever i am typing it here right we will call them like commands or command lines and commands will come contain something called verb like what to do and item on which thing so an item i have to create a new so noun and uh, that thing whatever i wanted to do right so verb and noun combination will be generally there in the commands and we know this from our previous videos so now what i am going to do i am going to use that new item then i am going to create a new item called hello world.ps1 so but basically i am creating a file which will have an extension of .ps1 and if I go back to my PowerShell ISC so right now if you see here I am under C drive C users and C shake folder so under that folder my PowerShell command line is there right now okay so if I create a new file then in that same folder only that file will get created so if I open that path in my file explorer so let me go back to the file explorer and if I bring back my file explorer here you can see I am right now under the same path so let me go to c then users then c shake okay so when i navigate to that path right inside that path i should see see right now this is the uh, these are the files we have and right now there is no hello world dot ps1 file in this particular folder okay so you can clearly see that right we have only these files history and that files and all okay so let's try to create a new powershell item now okay so I am going to use this new item command and here I am typing hello world dot ps1. So when I execute this command, it will create dot ps1 file in that folder. So let me hit enter. Now if you see the output, it says that on this date, on this time, this particular file got created in that particular folder location. Okay, so in this directory, it got created. So that is what it is trying to tell us. So if I go back to that directory, uh, I should see here, you can see here. So if I zoom this, you can see here, hello world.ps1 file is now available. Okay, so right now this file has no content. Okay, so what I wanted to do is, I wanted to open this PowerShell programming file or PowerShell file, which I created. I wanted to open using the Visual Studio code. And then there I want to write some PowerShell program. So to open Visual Studio code, use this code command. And then I wanted to open this hello world.ps1 file in that Visual Studio code editor, right? So I just gave this command. And when I hit enter, it is going to automatically open Visual Studio code. And in the Visual Studio code, the same hello world.ps1 file will get open. You see here, Right now it opened hello world.ps1 file. So now what I wanted to do, I wanted to write some PowerShell program here now. 
that should print hello world. So how I can write it? I can write like write. There is a command called write hyphen output. Okay. So when I use this write hyphen output command, so write hyphen output, then here I can pass a string which I wanted to print. Okay. So I can say like hello world. And whenever whenever you are typing the strings, you can either use them in a single quotes like this, like how I did it, or you can use the double quotes as well. So this is it. Let me hit Control S to save this PowerShell file. Now you see here itself, we are under the terminal from the Visual Studio code. We opened a terminal which is actually running on the PowerShell. Okay, so instead of me going back to my Windows OS and opening the PowerShell command line, I can directly execute the commands on this terminal as well. Even this you know from my previous videos. Okay. So here what I am going to do. So I wanted to run this hello world.ps1 file. Uh, so what I can do simply dot space, then I can search for this hello world. I'm hitting the tab button. See when I use the when you when you use this command, right? Like dot, then the file along with the full path if it is needed, then it will actually run that particular program which is available inside that PowerShell file. So I will hit enter and if you observe the results, it printed hello world. Why? Because this PowerShell file has the code which we just know written write hyphen output then hello world and that is the reason it is printing the hello world there. Okay. So till here it makes sense. So it is very basic simple PowerShell program which we written and we saved that program in the dot ps1 file. Okay. So if you want to comment out any particular code in the PowerShell, then you can use this hash and you can save this. So whenever you have hash for any line, that means that particular line will never execute by PowerShell. PowerShell will treat it as a commented code. Okay. So let's comment this code. And now what I wanted to do is if I go back to my OneNote and you see, I wanted to explain this code uh, or I wanted to tie this code where what I wanted to do, I wanted to create a variable in PowerShell program uh, and I wanted to have a prompt where I can take the input from the user. Uh, maybe I wanted to take the user's name and then once user provides that input, I wanted to store that input in a variable. Then finally, I wanted to print that entire message along with that variable. So this is what I wanted to do. So first step is let's go back to our PowerShell, uh, our Visual Studio code. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to create a variable. The way we create a variable in PowerShell is use the dollar sign. And then here I can give a name. I can enter the name for the variable. I'm giving name as a name only. Okay, equals to what I'm doing. I'm using something called read hyphen. So I can use the tab as well. Okay, so when I use tab, right, it will auto complete the commands. So if you see this code, so I am using this read host command length and for this command length, there is a parameter called prompt for the prompt. I am sending some prompt called enter your enter your name. Okay, so what this will does when PowerShell executes this line, it will show the prompt for us here and then it will ask us to enter a name, whatever the value we enter that will come and store in this variable. So once it gets stores, I wanted to print that. You know how to print that. I can use write hyphen output, right? And then I can use a string. So I can say like con congratulations, uh, my whatever the value I enter. So what I will use, I will use the variable directly. So dollar name I used, this is the variable name. So congratulations, whatever the value I entered into this variable that will come here. And then I want to print like you completed your first PowerShell program. Okay, so control S. So I written two lines of code. First line of code, if I zoom it, first line of code, what it will does, it has a variable and we are taking an input from the user and storing that input in the variable called name and how we are taking the input using this read host and prompt flag. And whatever the input we got in the name variable, we are just printing that by appending into some message called congratulations, you completed your first PowerShell program. Okay, so now what I am going to do, so let me clear this and then dot hyphen uh, tab. 
so i am running this code when i hit enter you can clearly see that it is asking me to enter my name so now i have to feed the information that means i am passing the data to my program so i will say my name is mahir okay and i am hitting enter see the moment i hit enter what happened if you see here when it asked a prompt i entered value as name mahir and that mahir value went into the variable and it printed here see congratulations mahir you completed your first powershell program so i am able to send the inputs to the program and i am able to print that inputs as well okay so this is what i wanted to discuss in this video at a high level for the first powershell program to write and also one thing to remember powershell is a relaxed language actually so when i say relaxed language what it means it is case insensitive you no need to worry about how you are typing the commands whether you type in a capital small or mix it will still work okay it is not case sensitive language it is case insensitive language and we have seen that name variable right so variables are used to store the values which we can use dynamically in the program in our case we created a variable called name to store the value and that we have used dynamically here uh, to print in the output right so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please considering hitting like button and also consider subscribing to wofa studies youtube channel thank you for watching have a nice day